All right, what is going on, guys? Babs here. Um, got a message from uh, Gary on YouTube, and he just kind of wanted me to uh, make a video on how to go about calculating shots. So this is going to be a very, um, I should say, simple, straightforward type of video, uh, if you say. Um, and the first thing you need to understand about when you're calculating a shot is that you want to have the right wind angle. As you can see, this you know view is skewed. The player's way over here, he's hitting this way. And if I change the camera angles, you'll see that they have slight little differences to them. So making sure that you pick the right camera angle, see how this line is straight on, that is probably a really good indication of what the correct wind direction looks like. So we'll pull this out here and this is all the steps you need to calculate a shot. Um, so distance and wind, divisor, angle, so forth and so on. We do an A divided by B and then get our distance and then elevation is uphill 3, downhill 3.75. So let's just uh, get this party started right here. So first off, we got, you know, distance times wind, um, and that's 14, blah, blah, blah. So we get 1554. And so then the next step becomes um, divisor divided by angle. And if you're looking for angle, um, basically, this is kind of what the angles would look like. So one is, you know, direct head or tail wind, and point zero one is direct side wind, and everything in between leads up to one, you know, so... 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, all the way to 0.9, and then 1. That's how you would get your angles. And this is just a rough draft that I did really quick like. Um, but you would use your divisor. So for headwinds, we use 180. And for tailwinds, you use 225. So this is, you know, roughly a headwind. And so we'll go 180. Get rid of the alcohol divided by, you know, looking at this, this looks like it could be, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, maybe 0 0.3, we'll call it 0 0.25. So we get 720. And so then step three becomes, you know, that A number divided by B. So we got 1554 divided by 720, and that's our headwind number, 2.14, that gets added to the 111. Boom. So we got 113 to the whole elevation. I said three, so you know, plus one. We'll call that 114 to the whole. And then from there, you you know, if you've charted your clubs, you're just gonna divide that by whatever number you would hope to divide by. Um, you know, we could do a nine iron, so I could divide by 127. And that would give me roughly a 90% nine iron. Um, but if I had 114 divided by, say, my half spin pitching wedge number, we could have almost a full type pitching wedge shot here. And so that's generally how you're calculating this shot, and it's really quick. You know, just type those numbers in really fast, boom, 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 and you're good to go. And so for the most part, you're just finding out how you can do that, you know, as quickly as possible, per se. So we'll just do this, you know, half spin pitching wedge. And then we'll just get our aim. We're looking at, you know, roughly 100% on the pitching wedge. Give it a ride, slight misting. And we've got a heartbeat. So we landed 110. And we're good to go. And so that's uh, basically how you would calculate a headwind shot. So from here on, we'll find a uh, tailwind shot and hopefully a side one shot and show you how to calculate those two. All right, so here I put myself on PGA number one. Um, we're just gonna hit a punch. Hopefully the ball doesn't go too far. That way we can get uh, a halfway decent iron shot out of this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna show you guys how to calculate this tailwind shot. So we're hitting a wedge, no big deal, which is fine. So let's bring out our goodies again. Again, we're revisiting this distance, wind, divisor, angle, all that good stuff together. So in the meantime, we're going to look at distance. And we're going to multiply that by wind. Awesome, 1372. 
Then we got our divisor, 225 divided by, eh, I would say we'd call that a 61.6, roughly. So 375. So we're looking at 1372 divided by 375. Divided by 375. Boom. So we take that, minus 98. You're basically in a tailwind, you're taking it off of the distance. You're subtracting it from the distance. So obviously we don't have negative 94 yards, but that's just the, the overall essence of what I'm trying to kind of comprehend when you're doing this kind of shot right here. So obviously, you know, uphill is just one, so call it 95 yards if you want to. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, all in all, you know, we'll divide this by 101. We've got ourselves roughly a 93% sandwich. So, you know, gives ourselves a slight little aim here. Hit this thing 93% and uh, give it a ride. Heartbeats. Boom, boom, boom. Landed 97 yards, we're good to go, maybe aim too much, but that's the gist behind all of this is just, you know, quick math and these three steps, four steps, and then your uphill, obviously if you have a downhill, you would subtract that from your number when you get your elevation. So, you know, if I, if I had that 95 yard shot, but it was downhill 10, I would just do down, uh, let's get rid of that, I'll go 10, divided by 3.75 and I get 2.6 and I subtract that from 95 and I get 92 so you know uphill add downhill subtract all that good stuff you already know um, but it's just really these five steps to get distance going on and uh, now we'll just kind of do a direct crosswind if we can hit one so here we basically went to the next hole uh, and again I'm gonna dumb this down a little bit just so we don't go too far and we have at least a decent um, iron shot into this hole. Cool. That should work. Eh, I mean, it's roughly a crosswind. I mean, it's a little bit off of a crosswind, but it's, you know, it, it, it's close. So in the event of following these quick directions right here, um, you know, me doing this real quick, we could just do 125 times 12. Cool, 1500, then we got 180 divided by, uh, call it 0.2, so 1500 divided by 900, plus 125, plus 1, 126. And that's how, that's how quick you do it. And then, you know, my 9 iron is 127.5, bam. So we got basically a full 9 iron. Um, and all it takes is 10 seconds to calculate that really quick like, and then you're just good to go. <laughs> so not not a whole lot of stress involved with 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 you know calculating by hand just a matter of getting used to the you know the steps real quick knowing your numbers hitting the ding shot uh, you know travel to 124 so we're right on the money um, and so that's really it you know just kind of going over these steps real quick um, remembering basically what your angles are that one is a direct head or tailwind um, and two is uh, not two but point zero one is a direct sidewind it's just these five steps and that's basically how you calculate shots just have to know you know what your full backspin numbers are at a hundred percent from the tee in the fairway and that'll get you started so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video let me know if uh, y'all have any questions I'll see y'all soon. Take care.